Hello everyone, welcome to day two of the Scrap Diva Designs um, Christmas in July YouTube hop. This is going. This is a two day event, yesterday was the first day. Um, I am on group two, so that's why my video is coming up today. And so let me tell you a little bit about this um, before I show you what I created. So um, yesterday's group, um, I want to read off everybody's names. Um, they'll all be linked below, but I also want to just give, give everybody a shout out because there are a lot of really talented people in this um, hop. And so I want to just give everybody a shout out. So I'm going to read them all off and then we'll move on from there. But um, so they're uh, participating in this group. So yesterday's group one, um, Tamika, Scrap the World, uh, Buzzin' with V, Veronica, Jen, Jen Cassell, uh, Roxanne, who is Hello, It's Me, Roxy, Amy, who is Amy Vitriani, 6775, Natalie at Put Some Bling On It, Patty at Mommy and Me Crafts, uh, Annette or Poochie at Poochie Tats, uh, Rhoda at Hey It's Row. And then group two, which is today, it will, will be um, Erica at Scrap Diva 29. It will be Brie at With Love Brie, Davina at Little Pink Crafter, Marissa at The Pink Ape, uh, Chloe at The Rainbow Crafter, Lillian at Scrap Goodness 5806, Ida at Created to Create, and me, the Polka Dot Pinecone. So that is all the people involved. All right, so two day hop. We were to um, make anything we wanted to, um, just Christmas. So any dies we wanted to use from Scrap Diva, it could be any collection of paper. There was no requirements other than just using Scrap Diva dies and making it Christmas. So um, that was the requirements. Um, so make sure you follow along with all the different people. If you haven't watched it, you'll have to, um, the, the giveaway closes on July 26th. So you'll have a couple days to, you know, get through all these to watch them all. And then the winner, um, we'll select our winners on um, the 27th. Um, uh, you want to watch each one because there's, ch there's giveaways on every channel. So um, Erica Scrap Diva Designs is hosting a um, $20 gift code for each channel, okay? So each channel will be giving a $20 gift code to Erica's shop online, okay? So that's pretty cool for every shop, all right? For, you know, for every um, channel. And then also a lot of the people are also giving away their own stuff. I also will be doing a giveaway. Um, mine will be some um, Happy Mail that I will send out to you. Okay, um, let's see, what are the other requirements? Oh, you need to like, follow, and subscribe to all the channels. Okay, you have to do that with all the channels in order to be entered in these drawings, okay? And let's see, if you decide to purchase any of these dies off my channel, you can use my coupon code. It's Polka10, that's P-O-L-K-A-10. Um, let's see, what else? I will have all the people listed below in the hop, so go follow them all along, give them some support. Um, I wanted to read off everybody's names because, you know, it takes a lot of effort to um, do these extra things. So, um, yeah, so go give them a follow and, um, you know, comment and, you know, enter for your chance to win. And then also, um, let's see, I will also have all of the dies that I used in this video. I will have them all linked below. I'll have my affiliate link below so you can use that. And then my coupon code also to um, save you some money if you decide to um, purchase any of the dies. So let's get with it. Okay, I think I've mentioned everything I needed to mention. <laughs> all right, sorry that took so long. Okay. First up, I'm gonna show you, I did a couple different kind of themes, and so I'm gonna show you the first one. Now, I've already shared this one um, on Instagram. I think I did a video too, but anyway, I made my little um, soda pop shaker. Um, I made a milk jug for Santa, along with his cookies and stuff on a platter. So I made that. 
And so then I decided to um, make Mrs. Claus something. So what I decided to make was I made her some cute little um, slippers for her and Mr. Claus. So I've got back here, I've got Santa and I put snuggle up and then I got this cute little thing from, I think it's Hobby Lobby. And then I used an edge flower here from Scrap Diva. And then this um, holly leaves are from the um, stocking uh, set from Scrap Diva. I put a little cute little Santa bell on the side. And so if you, you probably already recognize this, this is the flip flop die from this latest release. And I decided to make them, instead of flip flops, I decided to make them her bed slippers. So I've got glitter, red glitter back here, and then I've got a red and white striped glitter, or foil for the striped piece. My, um, this piece I made all lined with fur, and then I put some bling on it and I just thought they turned out really cute. Now I made this a card, um, and this time I made a fold, a top fold card. So there's my card on the inside, and I just lined it. I haven't stamped anything inside or anything like that. I just kind of left it blank, just put the, just everything all completed without anything on the inside, but I think those turned out super cute. So she's got these cute little fuzzy um, uh, slippers. <laughs> So that is one item that I created. All right, nextly, I made a bunch of a bunch of other things. So one of the first things I made was, hang on, I gotta get Pixie off. She's sitting on some of my stuff. Ah. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so next thing I used from Scrap Diva is the Santa bow so now you can use this bow with or without the Santa you know legs and feet and stuff it makes a gorgeous bow without it um, and I'll show you that in a minute but this one I went ahead and made the Santa the whole Santa bow and then uh, for this for these rest of these projects I am using snow and cocoa so here's my other one and I've already put this on uh, I took some of the pieces from the collection and I laminated them and then I've stuck a little dot on there to put that on. I think that turned out really cute. So I made the cute little Santa bows. And then here is what they look like um, without the Santa, you know, the legs and boot part. Oh, I think it's super gorgeous. You can layer it up. Now this first one, you can see I, I taped, or I, I adhered it down, both these layers before I folded it, okay? On these ones, I did them both separately. Okay, so it gives it a little bit different look, a little bit more dimension. But these are just the bows made without the Santa legs, and they're so super cute. So these ones I attached a cute little snowflake charm on there. So there's those two, and then this one I attached to um, the same thing. I did another. Um, uh, what you call it? Laminated it. <laughs> Another piece from a collection, and I just attached the bow here. Now I also made these cute little um, banners. This is also a scrap diva die. Um, this is this banner set is from. It's a Valentine set, and it has all kinds of Valentine words and stuff. But these are able to be used if you have one set. You can still use it for all different occasions. So, but then you can also purchase the sets for the different occasions to have different words that match the season. But um, anyway, I just used the plain one and attached it to the cute little um, straw type thing there and the bow and then a piece of the um, cut apart from the, the paper. So I think those turned out super cute. So I have a couple more here that are that I made that are just you know just without it. They all have different words, but they're all the same. So I made those. Now these I'm gonna share with you. I actually made these last year, but I wanted to share them with you again because it's a cute, cute way um, to send sequin mixes. Okay, it's uh, this I have inside of a plastic bag, um, but this is a, let me open it up. This is a vellum 
um, envelope and this is a scrap diva die also that's why I'm sharing it this is from um, I can't remember it's the it's a shaker envelope I can't remember exactly what it's called but it will be linked and there's two different sizes that come with it um, so this I made a cut out of vellum and then I um, had lined up I, don't, I think I might have had a tutorial last time on how to do this. These, this is the full front of this is washi tape <clears throat> that I laid out on a piece of paper, and then I cut out, you know, the shape to to mat on the on the top, the front, <clears throat> along with the you know the cutout and stuff. And so there's a shaker mix inside there, and it's got this super, <clears throat> excuse me, super pretty um, flap on the back. It's not just a plain straight flap. I, I love the shape of that. So anyway, this is the small one. There's a bigger one also. So <clears throat> like I said, this, these I actually made last year, but I wanted to just kind of share that with it so you can get another idea for that die. So I don't know, let's see. I, a lot of the dies I used were just um, plain dies that you know aren't necessarily Christmas dies. So <clears throat> you have to think of that also. Let me get this back in here. All right, and then next up, put that to the side there. Okay, then next I made um, these cute little shakers. Okay, this is using the um, ornament, uh, ornament memory decks set. Okay, it's got a piece that you could, you know, that cut out has the memory decks part on the bottom. I just used the layering pieces so that I could make just the ornament itself. And it's, you know, it's got the top where you could, it could be like a tag or an ornament, um, but really cute. Um, I didn't decorate it a ton. I filled it with some mix. I used a cute little um, acetate that has, um, I think this one has like speckles on it, like white speckles. On the side, I used this beautiful white with black polka dot trim on the side to kind of cover the edges. This again is the Santa bow without the legs. And then I just put some tool up here at the top and then I used a cute little cabochon in the center there. So I didn't decorate this very much other than just the top. But yeah, so I made some of those. <clears throat> and then next I made a Another cute shaker. This one is the candy cane, and this one is part of. Um, this is part of the stocking. Uh, yeah, the stocking mini album from Scrap Diva. Okay, so this is a piece that comes with it. So it's a uh, layered up um, uh, candy cane. <clears throat> so that's that. So this. You have to kind of listen real close to hear the shaking inside because I used, it doesn't have a lot of space. Um, and I used tiny little um, micro beads. Um, that's vellum in, underneath there. Now I didn't use any foam, so I just cut this out like I think three or four times. So it didn't give it a ton of space. So there wasn't, a, there wasn't a, a lot of space to put, you know, like bigger, like seed beads or, or um, sequins. So anyway, I just decorated it up. Um, this flower I already had in my stash. These leaves are part of the, um, I think it's the journal page, no. No, it's part of the, I think the flower pot gift card set. Anyway, whatever it is, <laughs> I will link it. I can't remember exactly all the names on these. Um, so that is how that turned out. So I made some of those. And again, I'm just using um, the Snow and Cocoa collection. And then um, next up, I made a cute little mailbox. So this, I believe, came out with the um, Valentine release last year. So it's like about, you know, a box to put your Valentines in. But I decided to make it a, um, you know, a mailbox for Santa. So I had a stamp set in my stash um, that I stamped Dear Santa and then the little lines. This little tag is that I used the, um, uh, it was from Easter. It was this Easter stamp and die set. 
So I didn't use any of the Easter sentiments, obviously, but I used a different stamp for my, for my stash, and I just used the die from that to cut out the little tag to say Dear Santa, and then I just very minimally decorated this, just tied some twine, twine around to hold this tag, and then a cute little, you know, resin um, snowflake up there, and then another bow. This is from... This is from the stocking die set also, one of the accessories that comes with it. So lots of um, different dies that I use, and a lot of times I didn't use the main part of the die, like the stocking. I used the accessories that came with it, so <clears throat> think about that also. So anyway, Snow and Cocoa, this has turned out so cute. So that is cute little um, Santa mailbox and then lastly what I'd like to show you is let me see I made the cute little basket to house some of these things okay so this is using that super fun and very versatile jelly tote bag love it I've already made one with a summer theme and this one I use the snow and cocoa obviously um, and I also on this one I did laminate it. Okay, so it's all it's all like stuff can't like fall through the holes or anything. Um, so that makes it real nice and sturdy and and handy. I know somebody else did that too. I think I think I didn't watch the video, but I did I think I saw something on Instagram maybe that showed. But anyway, so I laminated it and that turned out really super cute. Okay, I just have simply. Very simple decorations here on each side. Just a bow from, from Scrap Diva from, the, again, the stocking die set. Um, I just made a, um, you know, a little layered up um, uh, embellishment here in the center. So I used, you know, like a Dollar Tree um, snowflake. I got a layered up uh, rosette back here. Chipboard pieces from Snow and Coco. This leaves here are from the... Um, uh, that flower pot gift card holder. That's just a flower that was in my stash. A little pom poms, a little uh, snowflake sticking out here. This is the Dollar Tree pick. I just cut way off and just barely had it sticking above. Some other cute little snowflakes back there. A little tool, little um, tool pom pom here. A little page ruffle I sewed. Um, so I think that turned out really cute. And then I just um, punched a hole and I. Um, attached just a cute little one little bead and one little tassel and then I also laminated um, some of these words punched a hole so I could hang that also here on the side so I just think that turned out really cute I love it this this die is so versatile if you guys do any um, happy mail swaps or even just to have even if you don't do any of that to give as a gift, this can hold a lot in there. And how cute would it be to, you know, personalize it to be like whatever person you're giving it, like for a birthday gift or Christmas or whatever, because it couldn't be used for any, any occasion. So love that. It's one of my favorite dies. <laughs> so anyway, that's my shares of everything that I've created so far. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure to like, comment, and follow not just me, but all the other ladies in this in this um, hop to be able to um, be entered in the in the um, giveaways. Okay, so um, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry, it's a little bit longer um, than I wanted to be, but I wanted to give a shout out to everybody in the beginning. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Everything will be linked. All the people will be linked. All the codes will be linked. Thank you again and. Merry Christmas in July. Bye.